These days, getting Congress to agree on legislation to pass is about as challenging as making a perfect 10-day forecast. But in the wake of recent weather disasters, such as the Moore, Oklahoma tornado last May, Representative Jim Brandenstein of Oklahoma set out to pass legislation to prevent the loss of life due to weather. And on April 1st, his Weather Forecasting Improvement Act passed its first test, the House of Representatives. H.R. 2413, the Weather Forecasting Improvement Act of 2014, comes out of the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology. The Act intends to improve the protection of lives and property by outlining new priorities for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, parent agency of the National Weather Service. For some insight on this potential legislation, I called on Mr. Ray Ban. Mr. Ban is the president of the Weather Media Consulting Group, Ban & Associates and is the retired Executive Vice President of Programming, Operations, and Meteorology at the Weather Channel. We have bipartisan legislation that says weather predictions are very important and that has passed out of the House of Representatives. And that is something that hasn't happened in, in, in decades. Uh, but I will hasten to, to add here, though, that this is now a piece of legislation that has just passed the House of Representatives. Whether or not it will be taken up by the Senate is still something that we don't know. Therefore, the legislation as it sits today is just a bill that has come out of the House. It has not become law until it moves through the Senate and the President were to sign it. If made into law, the Weather Forecasting Improvement Act will require the administrator of NOAA to make weather-related activities NOAA's priority, which includes placing an emphasis on developing more timely, accurate forecasts and warnings of high-impact weather. Each year, hurricanes, tornadoes, and other weather disasters cause extensive damage to lives and property. In 2013, the United States suffered seven separate disasters, causing more than a billion dollars each in damage. Eleven other billion-dollar disasters occurred in 2012. One of those events was Hurricane Sandy. Since the European forecast model accurately predicted Hurricane Sandy's unique path two days before the American model did, concerns have grown that the U.S. lags behind Europe in forecasting capabilities. The Weather Forecasting Improvement Act wants to change this and intends for NOAA to ensure that U.S. forecasting capabilities are once again second to none. The intent of the legislation is to create an emphasis on short-term weather predictions as opposed to potentially focusing on longer-term forecast periods. Additionally, the Weather Forecasting Improvement Act encourages collaboration between NOAA and commercial weather companies. While some of these partnerships already exist, Additional partnerships could save taxpayers in satellite and observing system costs. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the Weather Forecasting Improvement Act would allocate $360 million to improve severe weather forecasting in the next two years. However, NOAA will receive no additional funding for these changes. This $360 million will come from funds already allocated to NOAA. The Weather Forecasting Improvement Act passed the Republican-controlled House last week, but now faces the Democrat-controlled Senate before it can be sent to the President and signed into law. The upcoming midterm elections could affect its chances of survival in the Senate, where it will likely face any changes before it has any impact on the weather community. For Weather or Not, I'm Christy Ruel.